Have you ever walked into a dispensary and been completely overwhelmed? I mean, choices are nice, but damn. That's why I've got 10 questions for you to ask your bud tender when you're visiting the dispensary to make sure that you walk away with a product you really love. Before I get into the questions, my name is Laura. I'm a mental health therapist turned cannabis health coach looking to educate and empower others in conscious cannabis consumption. So if you're into cannabis wellness and lifestyle content, subscribe and follow along. The first thing you should be asking your bud tender when visiting the dispensary is for the certificate of analysis. The COA is basically the test results that will show the potency and purity of the cannabis product that you're buying. If a company isn't offering that, that could be a red flag, so keep an eye out for that. And if they are offering it, absolutely grab it up. Make sure that you're looking at what it is that you're putting into your body. The second question to be asking is, what's fresh today? And this is pretty straightforward, but you want something without mold or mildew on it, so something fresh is a good bet. Now, a third question you could ask your bud tender is whether you have outdoor or indoor grown cannabis. And this really comes down to a personal preference. It's not really the one is better than the other. But if you want something that's grown indoors, that's great. Just understanding that indoor cannabis grows can use a lot more energy. So if you're looking for something that's more energy efficient, maybe you want something that was grown outdoors. There is also some science that backs up that the sun actually provides more nutrients for the cannabis plant and therefore the cannabis plant produces more cannabinoids. So that's something to consider too if you're interested in whether to go with indoor or outdoor. The fourth question that you can ask your bud tender is what are the best sellers? And this is obvious in the sense that you want something that people like. If people keep coming back for it, that's usually a good sign that it's something that's worth buying. Question number five, can I smell it? And I know that sounds kind of weird, but if you're able to smell the cannabis, that can make a big difference. Or even asking what the smell is, the terpene profile, being able to get a sense of your cannabis before purchasing it and consuming it can be really helpful. And if you can smell it and giving it a whiff, if you really don't enjoy the smell, maybe not putting your money towards that. It might not be something you enjoy. The sixth question to ask your bud tender is where was this cannabis grown? A lot of people prefer locally grown weed, which is obviously understandable for the same reason that you prefer locally grown vegetables. You get something fresh and you can support the local economy. A seventh important question, especially if you're going for an edible or a concentrate, was how is this made or how is this extracted? Looking into the process of making an edible, especially when it comes to gummies and things like that, can be really important because some places can spray a hemp product that's on, like, because some places can use a spray that goes onto their gummies instead of actually making the gummies with an infused, and like an, <laughs> when it comes to edibles, they can be made with a spray versus actually infusing the food, which can really produce a different effect and sometimes isn't what people are looking for. When it comes to concentrates, the importance is the extraction method. If you're looking for something that is solventless, obviously you want to ask about that. And making sure that all of the CO2 and those solvents used to extract is out. And again, this goes back to looking at the COA. Side note, a solvent-based extraction method uses chemicals to extract the trichomes or the medicine from the cannabis. Now, this is a perfectly fine method. You just want to make sure that all of those solvents are out of your actual final product. So that's what you want to look at the COA for. And obviously, solventless extraction methods, methods do not use solvents. An eighth helpful question is, what do you recommend for whatever it is that you want? So this could be, what do you recommend for sleep? Or what do you recommend for a hectic day? And this can be a way to ask the bud tender, what is great for the waking hours, what is great for nighttime, or what is it that you are really looking for? And you know, they can pick up a lot of those things, not only from their own personal use, but from the people that they're serving in the dispensary. So it can be a really um, great use resource to ask them what it is that they would recommend for a certain type of experience that you're looking for. Now the ninth question to ask your bud tender is, what do you have that is similar to blank? So this could be if you have a tried and true product or something that you really love, even a, a company or something that you know of strain-wise that you really enjoy, but maybe the dispensary doesn't have that specific thing. So you can ask them, what do you have that's similar to that? What do you have that is like this other product that I know that I love? Now the 10th and final question that you should be asking your bud tender is what are the deals in the sales? So this is really just to save you money. If you're going in there, you might as well ask what they have on sale. Now, to be clear, I wouldn't necessarily buy something just because it's on sale. You don't want to risk going home with a product you're still unhappy with just because it was cheaper. 
However, if you find something that you do enjoy or do want to try and it's on sale that day or they have a deal for it, why not check it out? I created a free PDF download of these questions so you can stash them for when you need them. It's linked below. So what would you add to this list? Any other questions that you think are really crucial at the dispensary or things that can really help you get that product that you love? Please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to add to this list. Other than that, I hope you have a dope day.